something. He takes the, the step back, step through. It is good for the game winner, Peyton Hart. That's what I'm talking about. His team rallied around him. Welcome to Governor State University. We are coming to you live from the Ark. Today's matchup, the Jaguars are taking on the 11 and 8 Trojans of Trinity International. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I am Zamar Tompkins, and with me here tonight is one of my favorite Jaguars of all time. I'm not going to do the introduction all crazy like, but look at his new haircut. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> he's one of the top media students in the Midwest, and it's my dog right now. For real. Tyann Simmons, how you feeling tonight, What's man? up, man? I'm feeling good. How you feeling? I'm good, man. Jaguars just got a uh, W with the uh, with the women's game. Yeah. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, ready to, I'm ready to get another one. Yes, Erski. Yes, Erski. But we, we got we to talk. to get it. We got to talk about it first. You ready to do it? Yeah, let's do it. All right. After uh, a tough, tough matchup for the Jaguars on Wednesday against St. Xavier, the Jaguars are looking to bounce back. And uh, the Jaguars are still in striking distance. So this game really matters here tonight. So, Ty, talk to me about it. Yeah, man, the, the Jaguars, they can't let up this game. You know, the Jaguars, they went head to head. Literally shot for shot, literally dunk for dunk against San Xavier last week, but they just couldn't keep up with him. Uh, but by the second half, the Jaguars had to find themselves on a short end, losing by a monster deficit. So, all right, and uh, the Jaguars, uh, they should be coming out here because they got something to prove tonight. So tell me, how, how did the Jaguars come out here tonight? So if we take a look at the charts, the Jaguars are five and eight in the CCAC, and the Trojans are six and five. So the Trojans are one of those teams that. The block, they're blocking the Jaguars really from uh, a home game at the playoff. Mm. Yeah. Uh, we need a home playoff game. We need one. <laughs> so tell me, how do these two teams here match up tonight, though? So one of the things that's uh, really important here is that the Trojans, they have no problem putting up points. You know, they are averaging 81 points per game, and they place th third overall all the rest of their opponents. Um, and they're aver averaging 35% beyond the arc. So, you know, the Trojans, they have the top shooters, um, number 23, Senior Diamond, uh, President Kovas shooting 12 points per game, and number two, sophomore, Keontae Thomas shooting just 11 points per game, and number 22, Junior, Jack Cujon shooting 10 points per game. So, they have some scores, um, and when it, com when it comes to ball control, they're averaging high, high according to all of the stats. Um, a total of 11 steals, 16 assists, 35 rebounds per game, so they place first overall in steals, which is, is huge. Wow, sounds like the Jaguars really got their hands full here tonight, but I'm interested to know how do the Jaguars match up with this team? So on offense, we have number 21, Tay Walters Whitaker. Uh, he's averaging just over 11 points a game along, alongside him in double digits of uh, his teammates Nick McCosh and Adam Taylor, who are shooting over 10 points per game. Um, the Jaguars are shooting 36% from the three, which is not too bad, while the Trojans are shooting 35%. So they're they're kind of neck and neck there. Um, but we can use that advantage for sure. All right. And um, I think the Jaguars uh, should be able to, uh, to get this one in hand. But uh, I tell you one thing that will absolutely help them get that done here tonight. Ty, you know what that is? What's that? That's keys to the game. Yes, sir. You ready to get into it? Let's do it. You ready to talk about Let's it? Let's talk about it. Let's hit it. Key number one for the Jaguars is defensive pressure. Yeah, so the Trojans, they're averaging higher over the Jaguars when it comes to points per game. Um, and this means that the Jaguars, they need to make the Trojans earn the points they uh, they get. So, you know, being strong in the paint, active hands, active feet, the, the, uh, the Trojans, they just pretty much, uh, they get the points and the Jaguars pretty much have to pretty much slow them down defensively. All right, if we are looking at key number two, key number two is three-pointers. Yeah, so the Jaguars are averaging um, higher at a three-point mark than the Trojans. And, you know, if the Jaguars can't, if the Jaguars can be patient and find an open shot, then we can use that to our advantage. We have some, we have Adam Taylor. We have some really good three-point shooters. We just really have to find them and, and, and use that to our advantage. All right, and last but not least, key number three is ball control. So the Trojans are sitting number one overall in steals per game. So they have the quick hands, the quick feet. Um, so the Jaguars need to make sure they're, they're mindful when it comes to passing and handling the ball. Um, because the Trojans, they like to read the lanes. They like to make the steals. They like to get the turnovers. That's, that's their game. All right, and it sounds like uh, Jaguars got the info. 
Uh, I'm not sure if that little guy's in the stat sheet, man, but uh, he might be the reason why they number one in steals, <laughs> the way he, he's out there tricking people, he, the way he's handling the rock. Yeah, man, he quick, man, he quick. Uh, he's probably going to be in the scouting report in uh, a couple of years, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't think he quite made it uh, on the radar tonight. I might just be a height thing, but he, he has the skills. You can see him. Yeah. That's a tribal, though, man. I'm calling it every time. <laughs> Give him some slack. Give yeah, him I, some I slack. Him slack. He, got, he got the handles down for sure. But, <laughs> but it's time to put all the fun and games away. Jaguars is getting ready to take on the Trojans of Trinity International. And uh, Phil Smith is just about ready to get us going with that national anthem on the floor. And so, uh, it's about time to send it down to him and let him do what he does best. We're going to send it to Phil Smith for the national anthem and uh, start lineups, and we'll be back at tip-off. And now the starting lineups, first for the Trojans of Trinity International. At one guard, a sophomore from Bolingbrook, Illinois, number two, Keontae Thomas. At the other guard, 6'3", junior from Oswego, Illinois, number 22, Jack Cahoon. At 6'3", a senior from Plainfield, Illinois, number 23, Diamond Presniakovas. From Bolingbrook, Illinois, the man in the middle at 6'7", number 24, Brandon Lawani. And rounding out the lineup from Denver, Colorado, graduate student number 25, Xavier Cooper. The head coach is Greg Miller, assisted by Quentin Garrison. And now for the home team on the scoreboard, the Governor State University Jaguars. At one guard, a sophomore from Chicago at 6'3", number three, Will Bates. The shooter from Wheatfield, Indiana at 6'5", freshman, number 14, Nick McCash. At 6'4", two-sport athlete from Mokeen, Illinois, Number 20, Adam Deadeye Taylor. From Flossmore, Illinois, the point guard is 6'3". Number 21, Ty Walters Whitaker. And rounding out the lineup at 6'10", from Chicago, the man in the middle. Junior, number 23, Tyler Clark. The head coach in his eighth season at GSU is Tony Bates. Associate head coach Rick Romelli. Assistant coaches Aubrey V. Valoy. Julian Hardy and Sterling Big Shot Field. Your officials are Rodney Harrison, Rich Parsons, and Scott Tierney. Welcome to Governor State University. You are at the ARC. All right, and you got your starting lineups, you got your keys to the game, you got all the info that you need. Only thing left to do now is throw the ball up and get after it. That's it. That's it. That's all. Guys, a little anxious. 
Texas out here. All right, and the Trojans win the tip after a quite peculiar jump ball. Trojans get it down low, shot up in the corner. That was no good. Great rebound by Tyler Clark. Absolutely. Bates finds Nick McCosh. Great back pass, door. great pass, great pass. Great pass, great finish. Jaguar strike first. And kick out, breeze up. And it is good by Jack Cahoon. Walters Whitaker with it for the Jaguars. He drives, finds Tyler Clark. Does not finish, but he will get a chance to make it up at the free throw line here. Good on the first free throw. He does knock down the second. Oh, wow. Great defense right there for Nick Makash. Uh, that Controversial no call right there for uh, the referee there. Jaguars wanted to jump ball. Good hands and transition to uh, stop that play from becoming a bucket. Trojans will maintain possession though. After the play there. I don't like that. That's not called for. Yeah. Not called for at all. It feels like one of his teammates is even saying, you got to take him out of here. Ooh, and the, uh, yeah. Very intentional shove by uh, Brandon Lawani there. And, uh, Referee's talking it over with his coach as uh, Adam Taylor is at the line shooting free throws. I'm assuming it's a technical foul here. But the arc is chirping. And that is a dangerous move right there. You give Adam Taylor a free chance to, to see it go through the rim and start yeah. the game. Yeah. Wani does check out of the game after picking up the uh, personal foul, technical foul. Jaguars maintain possession here. Tyler Clark with the hands off to Will Bates. That's the qu quick hands we were talking about earlier. Trying to read the lane. Jaguars got to make sure we uh, being aggressive. We, uh, we talked about it in the first game. Uh, uh, aggressiveness is uh, always going to be something to help us assert our, ourselves in a basketball game. Yeah. A kick out for Tyler Clark to find Will Bates. He knocks down a three. And, uh, I got to say, man, I like how this game's starting off, man. We got, we got yeah. some chirping, some conversation happening on the floor. That always equals a lot of competitive spirit, so. Yeah, that's all. 
Just compete, man. Just compete. I like it when they when they let the, the game speak for itself. Yeah. Nick McCosh with it for the Jaguars. He's driving. Ooh. The in and out on the, the ballerina shot there. Jaguars ball. Jaguars take possession. But the Ty Walters Whitaker folks that one loose. Driver's seat for the Jaguars. Jaguars ball on the shot clock. The three goes up for Ty Walters Whitaker and knocks it down like it's nothing. Yeah, he got a nice little swag <laughs> when he shoot that, when he shot that three. Doing himself. Outside shot goes up. That one's no good. Nick McCosh rips down another rebound. Adam Taylor finds Tyler Walters Whitaker, who finds Tyler Clark. Coach Bates telling him to go to work. Way to work. Way to work. Brought the hard hat on that one. Three-pointer good in, in transition for Keontae Thomas. Stop and pop for Ty. <laughs> and it's good. And we got a timeout right away for Trinity International. So we're going to take a break in our broadcast. We will be back. Don't go far. Jaguars up 15-8. And we are in the arc. The GSU Bookstore is open and ready to help you prepare this semester. Students can buy or rent course textbooks, purchase a variety of school supplies, and anyone could shop for some sweet Jaguar merchandise. Unable to shop on campus? Visit Governor State's website and click on the Bookstore option. Here you can find the link to the Bookstore's online page, where you can order any product straight to your address. Let's kick off the school year right. Visit the bookstore today. And remember, go Jaguars. Right, and we are back. Great game we got so far. Not a lot of time has elapsed off the clock, but uh, a lot of energy. The energy, the implications that we're getting from that, we are in for one. Keontae Thomas puts up another one. This one, no good. Taylor finds Nick McCosh. He gets it back from him. Taylor on the drive. Tyler Clark looking to clean up the mess. No good on a second chance. Ooh. Found a way through there. Presnia Kovis shining like a diamond on that one. Push off foul on Adam Taylor. Oh, Jackson checks in for Tyler Clark. Easy call for the referee right there. Preston Yakovic trying to get to the lane and does just that. Ooh, and he says, they too little for me. A little bit of taunting going on. He says, they too little for me. See if Jaguars can answer back. Will Bates puts up the two. He gets it to go. Back to the bucket. 
No good this time. Will Bates bringing it up for the Jaguars. Turns it over. Keontae Thomas picks the pass. Nick McCosh met him up top, but he finishes anyway. Bates looking to make something happen. He finds Kyle Jackson, who's out of bounds. Brandon Lawani checking back in. Picked up that early foul, a technical foul early. And he is back for the Trojans. And not finish on the point blank layup. Adam Taylor for three. They don't call him dead eye for nothing. Taylor picks off the pass. Kyle Jackson puts the three up. That's the first missed three for the Jaguars this evening. Mm -hmm. Kovis finishes again at the cup. From what we talked about, they got to lock down defensively. They definitely do. They're going to move the ball. He's having an evening so far. Kyle Jackson looking to get a bucket here. He can't finish the lay. Deontay Thomas can, though. And the Jaguars take a timeout to slow things down here. So we're going to take a break in our broadcast, and we will be back. Jaguars up 2018. Don't go far because we are in the arc. If you're looking for a quiet area to study this upcoming semester, the University Library is located on the second floor of the D building at Governor State. Students can check out books, research upcoming dissertations, and study for exams. If using the online library, you can request a book, look through the database, and find workshops. Stop by and shuffle through the pages this semester. For more information, visit govst.edu slash library. All right, and we are back. See Adam Taylor right there in the action, getting some tutelage from Coach Bates. You can see what the uh, the five that he's getting ready to sit down on the floor is getting ready to do. Yeah, I guarantee Coach is probably going to make some changes. Um, he's probably looking for something more defensively to try to, to try to slow them down. Yeah, I think they got a. Um, the situation on their hands with uh, Preston and Kovic. He's uh, real crafty and creative getting to the bucket. Yeah. And uh, he's going to rub it in, too. So uh, you definitely don't want a guy like that to get his confidence going because uh, that's the type of infectious energy that you don't want to let uh, run loose on your opponent. Exactly. Tyler Clark gets called for the walk. Trojans take possession here. The Trojans really looking for something. Brandon Lawani kicks out. That three pointer no good. Trojans get their own rebound. Ty Walters, what a good, good pick in pockets. Look out, look out. That's a good uh, catch for the, uh, the coach right there. 
I ain't, I didn't even see like the ball get to him, and he just popped up with it. It's like like a magician or something. And it looks like uh, we got some perspiration, a little bit too much coming off of one of the players. And, uh, we good to go now. Whitaker with it, three-pointer, no good. Way to go for it. Ty gets it back, doesn't miss on the second chance. He finishes at the cup. Little finger roll. Can finger roll. Keontae Thomas stop pop mid-range, no good. Brandon Lawani with the rebound. He cleans up the mess. Looking to go to work. It's a foul down low. It's a foul on Lawani. And that is. A turnover for the Jaguars. A little too much on that one for Ty Walters with it there. And Marion Osborne checking in for the Jaguars. And a travel call right there on Jaden Thomas. He's not happy with that call at all. Red with it up top, he finds Adam Taylor. He drives and is denied. Aiden Thomas makes up for it on, uh, on this trip down the floor. We all knotted up at 22. Shot no good. Yeah, Jaguars got a tough one. Jaguars got to do a better job of, of taking the higher percentage shots. Uh, you don't want to force it. You never want to force it. Um, no matter what you do, really. 1,000%. Can't force it. Got to gotta make sure we get good shots off. That's, that's something we've been talking about. Yeah. Also got to make sure we're getting stops on this side of the floor, too, because that's something we also talk about. That, on the other hand, is not something we talk about. <laughs> Monty Lambert knocks down the three and steals we the lead not. for the Trojans. But, I mean, we kind of did. Defensive pressure, that, uh, that was not it, though. Turn over. Xavier Cooper gets the, the transition bucket, and the Jaguars call for a timeout. So we're going to take a break on the floor, and we will be back. Jaguars up 27-22. Don't go far. We are in the arc. Doesn't get through, but it does find its way. Will Bates for two. Good. Will Bates. Jaguars score off the broken play. Ah. 
Shout out to my homegirl, Shu Fong over there. I just know she got hit with the ball. Way to stand tall and take the punches. <laughs> yeah. Again, that is quite a task to be standing there with that camera on your shoulder while all these people are running at you. 100%. Shot is up and it is good for Jaden Thomas. Well, base finds Osborne, he's no good on his two. Jaguars got to tighten up the interior defense, and Coach Bates is looking to find something that works here. Will Bates is three, no good. Dantzler with it, he resets for the Jaguars. Tyler Clark, no good there. The Jaguars having an absolute tough go right now. Hands up, hands up. It's the foul. Foul inside. And they're sending Asher Blum to the line. Take a look at it. Foul on Tyler Clark. Mm. No good for Blum. Jaguars got a whole new, a whole new floor. I think uh, Will Bates is the only uh, common denominator. Capture this lead, hoping the shrink, uh, the, the gap has been created. Yeah. Out of bounds, the Jaguars will maintain possession. Ty Walters Whitaker with it. He finds Adam Taylor. Jaguars trying to get the lid off right now. Man, Jaguars really having a tough go right now. Yeah. Trinity's playing fast. Trinity International. Playing really fast. Well, Bates has got seven points. And he's looking at that point total. Almost turned it over here. Looking to find a rhythm. He's struggling to find one. Monte Lambert with the, with the bucket, and he says they're too little. Nick McCosh with it up top. Finds Kyle Jackson, who thought about the shot. He drives, finds Will Bates. Jaguars with the hot potato right now and turn it over. Xavier Cooper gets the bucket. GSU calls for a timeout here. We'll be right back. Score 37, Trinity 24, Jaguars. We'll be right back.
right, and we are back, and we got some some Jaguar fans in the house. Uh, shout out to our women's basketball team who secured the victory in our, our first game. Some of my favorite Jaguars sitting over here. Yeah. And it seems that they like this song. It's a good one, though. It's, yeah, it's definitely a great song. Yeah. Man, they definitely uh, showed out in the first game, so if anybody deserves to be celebrating, it is them. It would really be great to see both teams take home take home that W today. Definitely would. A lot of game left. Jaguars gonna Jaguars gotta work though. They're gonna work for it. Kyle Jackson with it. He drives. His bucket does not roll. Not no good, and Adam Taylor with the rebound. Adam Taylor finds Jalen Levy. We got a blocking foul on the play. Blocking foul on the floor, Jalen Thomas is first. Jaguars maintain possession here. Kyle Jackson from outside knocks down the three. And I like what I just saw right there. You know, Coach Bates is telling his guys we got to make a shot uh, in so many words, and, and Kyle Jackson responds. Yeah, Coach really knows how to bring the best out of, of his Sportsmanship right there. Both teams helping Tom Walters with a career up. Yeah, I was saying uh coach does really coach base does a really good job of bringing out the best in and uh in his players, you know, in his style of course, but it works. Yeah. He really like you say, you know how to bring the best out of people. And, uh he even, even make me want to play. I ain't I ain't got the call up yet, but uh it's coming. <laughs> Yep. I think they just don't got a jersey to fit me. I think that's the biggest problem. <laughs> Jalen Levy on the drive is a foul. It is a side out, though. No, no free throws here. Kyle Jackson recovers the, the fumble. He takes and makes the two. Jaguars trying to climb back in this one. It looks like Kyle Jackson's the answer is it now. Presley Jacobus is three, no good. Trinity International making some changes. Ty Walters Whitaker on the drive. His floater finds the bottom of the net. Jaguars clawing their way back into this game. Tay Thomas turns into an assist to Monty Lambert. He finishes at the cup. Ty Walters Whitaker is missed three. He's headed back the other way. That's all hustle right there for Monte Lambert. Yeah. He literally stormed in there and stole that, that turnover away from uh, five Jaguars. A 
Levy with the floater. Good pass right there. Preston Kovic finishes. We got to take care. We got to take care of that paint, man. Definitely. Got to be uh, aware of the creativity these guys have as far as getting it to each other too. Kyle Jackson soars above the clouds to get that layup to go. Adam Taylor rips down the rebound and the Jaguars are headed back the other way. Nick McCosh from outside. And it's Cash. We got ourselves a game, guys. We're going to take a quick timeout. Um, Jaguars 38. It's a three point game. Turn it into national 41 points. We're in the arc. We'll be right back. <laughs> yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> we messing with a new guy. <laughs> oh, there he is. Wait, wait for it. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, y'all have fun with that. <laughs> oh, he almost got it. Oh, he fast. We are back, and I think this game is just way too exciting for some fans. They just gotta, you know, nap it out sometime, you know. Take a little uh, little break, take a little rest, and, and be ready for the start of the second half, which is just around the corner, but we still got two minutes, 21 seconds left in this first half. Yep. But I, I would say somebody over there gotta wake that fan up, man. They don't wanna miss uh they don't wanna miss the rest of this this first half, man. A lot of action going on. All right, we got a game in front of us. A lot of energy, a lot of a lot of excitement. Yeah, man. You, you know, Jack. The, the arc is lit right now, man. Phil, Phil DJ, and he playing some tunes, man. <laughs> DJ got all the, I mean, uh, <laughs> Phil got all the tunes. Yeah, yeah man. See, man, right on cue. I like when they do that. It make me look smart. Like, I know what's going on here. <laughs> oh, you do. Barely. <laughs> Ooh. Off the foul. Yeah, a late whistle here. Foul number 12, Kyle Jackson. In second. Preston Kovic trying to muscle a bucket, and that one does not go. Kyle Jackson with it in transition. Ty Walters, Whitaker with it. Ooh. And we are dead locked at 41 after the deep three from Adam Deadeye Taylor. They don't call him that for no reason. <laughs> we back. We back. And just like that, a steal from Kyle Jackson. Jaguars in transition. They have numbers, but they do hand it back over. Presley and Kovis. Filling out the stat sheet tonight. As far as the stats go, I definitely got to credit uh, Coach T-Mac with an assist. There's a popcorn spill on the front row. Jalen Levy gets the flush. The boy got bunnies. Be up there. But definitely got to credit T-Mac with the, with the cleanup job. He's running the floor like he's trying to get another one. Ty Walters Whitaker finishes the lay. Deontay yeah, Thomas trying to get a bucket, and he does. I love the back and forth right now. We dead locked at 45. The energy in this gym is Crazy. They playing this first half like that's the only one that, that, that's going to count. And I, I love it. Every possession's got to count. Yeah. 
Ty Walters Whitaker looking for space. He gets the three-pointer up, looking for contact, doesn't get it. And that is the first half. We are deadlocked at 45. We're going to take a break, and we will be back at the start of the second half. Do not go far, because we are in the arc.
are back, and it is National Fish Talk O Day. Man. See, I, my, my thing is like, man, do I want to go make some fish tacos or do I want to go try to find some fish tacos, you know? Honestly, I might try it if you make it because you, you're a great cook. I do what I can, you know. I, I, I try. I'm not going to – I get down in the kitchen. But I'm not just eating anybody fish tacos. I feel you. Because I've had some that I was not a fan of. <laughs> I was just like, man, this this the fish taco? This what y'all been talking about? No. <laughs> I feel like if I can make it myself, I can I can really make it my own. Yeah. Jaguars get the steal there. Kyle Jackson misses the dunk. And that's a tough one, man. That is a super tough one, man. You know, you always want that that highlight play, man, but when you, when you don't get it, man, so yeah. it's uh, looked at as a little bit selfish. But that's explosive energy that we need, though. Yeah. You know, to keep us in the game, so to maintain the, you know, maintain our, our spot in the game. 100%. Not no good. Ty Walters Whitaker with the rebound, and we headed back the other way. Uh, we got a foul on Keontae Thomas. Ty Walters Whitaker with time to shoot and does not convert on the three. Very acrobatic. In transition? Yeah, that's, Ooh, that's impressive. That? Yeah, that's impressive. Who's that guy? Adam Taylor on the drive. He can't get the shot to go. Ooh, and Brandon Lewani goes up and is met with resistance. You know, I don't mind a, a foul or two, but as long as, for me, as long as they're keeping their, uh, you know, protecting their, their paint. Yeah. Put a body on them. Don't make it easy for them. You, you got to make sure the foul working, too. Yeah. Those free throws are good for Lawani. Makash no good on his three-pointer. Trojan in transition, turn it over. Will Bates shoots the three. Will Bates makes the three. Knocked it down. really moving it around the perimeter, looking for a good one here. In the post, the bucket good by Presley Akovis. He's really balling today. Not no good. Trojans headed back the other way. Bucket in transition. Jaguars take a timeout here, so we're gonna take a, take a, a timeout in our broadcast. We will be right back. Jaguars 48-53 for the Trojans. Don't go far, we are in the arc. A new art piece has been added to the number one nationally ranked Nathan Mantle Sculpture Park. Stargazing with Contrails was added to the Nate in 2021. 
This steel monument can be seen across the GSU pond and stands at 21 feet tall. Chicago artist Terence Karpowitz created the piece with the generous gifts from Paula and Linda Uzero. The Nathan Mandel Sculpture Park is free to the public and is open year-round with over 30 different art pieces scattered throughout the GSU landscape. Come visit the Nathan next time you are in the Chicago Southland. You will not be disappointed. All right, and we are back. Jaguars took a time out there to get a get something together to uh, make sure we come out on top of this one. The baseline pass turns into a turnover for the Jaguars. Corner three up, and it's no good. Nick McCosh ripped down the rebound. Out a couple of disgruntled fans. Yeah, you gotta watch where you're going. He's in good spirits, though. Jaguars moving around. Ty Walters with it. Kerr hands off to Adam Taylor. His shot's no good. Will Bates finds Nick McCosh. His shot's no good. Jaguars really having trouble getting the lid off here. And we are headed back the other way. Jaguars take possession. Yeah. The Jaguars got it. They just got to stay in it, you know? They do, just gotta make sure we stand persistent and uh, gotta find a, a shot to work. Yeah. It's there. Ty Walters Whitaker takes the three. No good. Foul is on Will Bates. He sends Presley Akovis to the line. He's got some free throws coming his way. First free throw is good. Second free throw is good. So Bates takes the deep three. No good on that one. Oh, we gotta watch the man. It seems as though there's always a man open on the other side. We gotta watch. Transition three for Jack Cahoon right there. Swelling this lead to double digits. Nick Lakash get the floater to go. It's money in the bank. Cash it. The cash. <laughs> That's really cool. Real step no good for Lawani. Cash from outside, no good. No good on that one for Cahoon. there for Keontae Thomas. Jaguars will maintain possession. Trinity International. 
International getting some substitutions here. Jaguars struggling to find a shot here. Three-pointer good for Ty Walters Whitaker. And he get a chance at the line after being fouled by Keontae Thomas. Let's see if he can knock down the rare four-point play. And he does convert. Great defense by the Jaguars. Double teaming, help defense. No Bates cannot finish in transition. Great defense for Kyle Jackson right there. Adam Taylor in transition can't finish. Nick McCosh cleans it up. Jaguars within two. with the steal. Will Bates finishes under the basket. And we got a timeout on the floor, so we're going to take a break in our broadcast, and we will be right back. We are deadlocked at 58 apiece, 12 and a half minutes left in the game. Don't go far. We are in the arc. Let's go. Dining is back at Governor's State University. With a complete remodel in 2020, the GSU Cafe has a modern feel. Glass window seating overlooks the beautiful GSU pond. Unique lighting gives a sense of warmth and coziness. And the cuisine. Pristine ingredients are used like hand-grounded coffee beans, fresh fruit, submarine fillings, and hot oven pizza. Students with a My One card can add a meal plan that best fits their appetite. Visit the GSU Cafe the next time you're on campus. Savor the fresh. All right, and we are back. 12 and a half left in the second half. And um, it is quite a game here in the arc. Tied, yeah. tied at 58 apiece. Jaguars are really coming alive here. No, yeah. no lay down on this team tonight. Not at all. Ty, what do you think is going to be a uh, determining factor the rest of the way for the Jaguars? Finishing, man, honestly. Uh, with the Jaguars, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm seeing ups and downs. I'm seeing good things. I'm seeing bad things. But it's all about who wants it more, man, who, who's going to finish. 100%. 100% agree. Got to make sure we finish him. Kyle Jackson, Ty Walters, Whitaker, Nick Nakash, LaShawn Dantzler, and Will Bates is the five for the Jaguars. Back door for Jack Cahoon. Great vision. A beautiful play right there for them. And base finds Makash. He finds Kyle Jackson in the corner. He sits the three pointer in there. He leaves that hand up, you know. You gotta leave it. <laughs> you gotta leave it sometime. I like that. He captures the lead for the Jaguars. He gets a, ooh, a lot of controversy on that one. Keontae Thomas takes the lead right back with his three-pointer. Ty Walters Whitaker gets it from Deshaun Dassler. Jackson looking to get a bucket here. Time on the drive. And we got a foul on the play. 
Ty Walters Whitaker gets a chance at the free throw line here. Ty has to knock these down. Jaguars could use these. Hits the first. Jalen Levy checks in, give LaShawn Dantzler a break. We're tied at 63. Gina Shoefan makes the noise. International shooting uh, very well from the floor tonight with 54%. And Jaguars shooting 44%, uh, but we are still tied at 63 points. Almost a turnover there. Trinity International maintains possession. Tough possession for the Trojans. Really easy possession for the Jaguars. Ty Walton Whitaker skips through that lane and get that two pointer to go. Fake timeout on the floor here. Gotta be careful with those fake timeouts. They get you every time, man. Trojans with possession here. Jaguars up. Kyle Jackson would like to keep it that way with that block. Kyle's playing hard, man. He, he's doing all the little things out here tonight. Man. Yeah. It's, going, it's, it's not going unnoticed, I promise. Definitely not going. It might not make it in the stat sheet. <laughs> it, but, it counts. But the effort, the energy, the way he's playing, trying to protect the ball. Ty Walters, Whitaker hands off to Kyle Jackson. Tie up top with it. Kyle step back three. No good. Trojans looking to get one here. Ty Walters Whitaker stops the play. with another bucket. He's got a more he's got more than a few here tonight. Gosh, mid range two, no good. And we got a charging foul. Nick McCosh. Taking the charge right there. Take another look at it. And you see Nick Makash. Yeah, that arm. Can't, you can't just run through people like that. Yeah. That's another sport. That, that is totally another sport. Like rugby or something. <laughs> Kyle Jackson shot no good. Save right there for Preston and Cobus. Jaguars getting some substitutions here. Will Bates and Adam Taylor come in for Jalen Levy and LaShawn Dantzler. It's alive, boys. Jackson picks up the foul on that one. Foul on number 12, Kyle Jackson. His second, Keontae Thomas at the line, 
shooting two. Deontay Thomas knocks down the first free throw. Deontay Thomas knocks down the second one. down to three. Count it. got a game here tonight. That we do. Ah. Got a foul on the play on the floor before the shot goes up. No free throws here. Foul is on Keontae Thomas. is picked off. Good defense for Kyle Jackson right there. Adam Taylor rattles home the two-pointer to tie this back up. Just over seven minutes left in this game. That. Very way to beat the defense. Splits him. Will Bates looking to make something happen. Hands off to Ty Walker's Whitaker. Will Bates in the corner for three, no good. Kyle Jackson again, the little thing. He's there. Hustling. He's there. Right where he needed to be. It counts. We see you, boy. <laughs> oh, we see you. And Bounds are we headed back the other way. Kyle Jackson having quite the evening. He's got 12 points, three rebounds, four assists and a whole bunch of other stuff that just don't show up in the stat sheet. But he's definitely doing the little things that matter. Yeah, those are things that make, make you a great player, man. It's not just what's on the stat sheet. It's, it's leadership, it's hustling, it's energy, it's encouragement, all of that. 1,000%. Whitaker. A strong play. Hang time gets the bucket. Preston Yakovis just working his way to the lane. And makes that one look easy. Yeah, man, that man is strong. We deadlocked at 76 again. Will Bates on the drive, he's fouled. He earned himself in all his expenses, paid trip to the free throw line.
teammates at the line. He makes the free throw. No base knocks them both down. Thomas misses the three right there. Well, Bates turns it over. Presley Akovis with another one. He's got 20 on the evening. Makash cutting and he finishes in the lane. A lot of back and forth, a Man, lot of back and forth. I'm telling you, another bucket for on the other end for Xavier Cooper ties us up at 80 and neither one of these teams got any regard for my blood pressure whatsoever. <laughs> Knocks down a three off the assist for Ty Walters Whitaker, who is sporting a double double here tonight. Jack Cahoon, no good on that three. Let's see what the Jaguars make of it. Nick McCosh with it. Trojans with it, Presley Akovis with it. He hands off to Jack Cahoon. Deontay Thomas with it, trying to reset. Deontay Lambert, no good on his shot. Will Bates missed times the rebound, and Presley Akovis makes him pay for it. We're going to take a break in the broadcast here. We will be back. Jaguars up 83 to 82. Do not go far. We are in the arc. Hello everybody, happy game day. And thank you for tuning in to another Jaguar Sports Minute. I'm your host, Elijah Gomez, here to give you everything GSU sports. In women's basketball, the Jaguars recently faced San Xavier. It was a thrilling match for both teams. Unfortunately, the Jaguars came out on the short end in the match. You have just heard the latest news in the Jaguar Sports Minute. I'm your host, Elijah Gomez. See you again soon. Right, and we are back. Just under three minutes left in this game. Jaguars clinging to a one-point lead right now. Be interested to hear what uh, both coaches say in their, in their timeout. He's got 21 points and 11 assists here tonight. Shooting the ball pretty well. Cross court pass to Jaden Levy. He finds Adam Taylor. He finds the cup. The pass to Preston Yakovis did not make its way there. Jaguars got possession. Nick McCosh couldn't finish in transition, and we're headed back the other way. One. one. Good defense from Kyle Jackson, better offense from Keontae Thomas on that one. And we got a timeout on the floor here, courtesy of Governor State, so we're going to take a break in the broadcast, and we'll be back after this full timeout. Jaguars, 85. Cougar, uh, Trojans, 84. Don't go far, we're in the arc.
right, and we are back. Jaguars in the timeout getting some very intense advice from uh, head coach, Coach Bates. And, uh, yeah, it is one heck of a game we got going on in here right now. Yeah, man. I'm speechless right now. I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to put all the energy back, but I'm, I'm kind of at the edge of my seat, literally. You know what, man? We, t we talk about how hard the, the players are playing out here, man. Nobody talk about the job that we got, though, you know? <laughs> oh, it's, it's tough. A, it's a game like this, and, and I, I have to watch the game and tell y'all what's happening, but sometimes I just want to watch the game and, and, and holler in excitement, too. <laughs> and, and Ty, you killing it tonight, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. But you always, you always kill it. So hey, I do what I can, man. I'm just trying to get some, some fish tacos after this. <laughs> but I'm only gonna go if we get the if we get the W. Come on, y'all. Give me some. Give me some some fish tacos. Uh, turnover right there. Um, Jaden Thomas is hype about that one, to say the least. And Coach, there man. goes the jacket. jacket. Jacobus with it. He gets to the cup. He can't finish. Good save for Nick McCosh right there. And it seems as if Kyle Jackson stepped out of bounds. And Coach Bates is living. Trinity International maintains possession. Yeah. A lot of weird activity going on by the rim right here. It seems there's a foul on the play. Jalen Levy picks up the foul there. He sends Jack Cahoon to the line. We got some spillage on the floor here. Adam Taylor cleaning up the mess. First free throw, no good for Jack Cahoon. And if my girl Hadia Thomas was here, she'd tell you, ball, don't lie. <laughs> that she will. And the arc is full of Jaguar fans right now who do not want this free throw to go. But they do not get their wish on that one. We are, to no surprise to anyone here, deadlocked at 85. Adam Taylor hands back to Ty Walker's Whitaker. Adam Taylor for three. No good. Mm. And it's a timeout courtesy of Cherry International. There's 58 seconds left on the clock. We're deadlocked at 85. Do not go anywhere because you're not going to miss a second of what's going to happen right here in the arc. We'll be back. If your passion is to help make someone's life better, develop research-based knowledge and interventions, Create a world rooted in a foundation of social justice for all. Optimize movement and function. Help develop a person's speech, language, swallowing, and hearing skills. Heal the hidden wounds of addiction and trauma. Transform the way healthcare is managed. Passionate, inspiring, and innovative, our faculty members are experts in their field and committed to your success. Gain hands on experience in our newly renovated Science Week featuring state-of-the-art labs and classrooms. 
Academic and professional excellence is the foundation of our college. Every program that requires accreditation for licensure or certification is accredited. You've come to the right place. The College of Health and Human Services at Governor State University. Your life's passion awaits. All right, and we are back. Trinity International with possession here. Keontae Thomas with it. He hands off to Preston Yakovis, who drives to the basket. Kyle Jackson doing the little things with the big block right there. And there is a call on the floor that nobody in this arc is enjoying right now. They like say it's a jump ball here, and Trinity International maintains possession. Jaguars got to keep a steady head. Think smart. Jack Cahoon with the hands to Preston and Cobus. Thomas wants the three. Cooper on the drive. And a blocking foul on Adam Taylor. And the fans are not feeling that one. You know, I'm in the booth, but I don't know if I agree with that one either. Hey, but man. I'm just, look, I'm just in the booth. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just, you know. It kind of really wouldn't mean much because my shirt say Governor State, but I really don't believe that call. Yeah. So forgive me if I'm a little biased, but, you know, the referee called a blocking foul on that one, which means Xavier Cooper will get a chance at the line to take the lead here for the Trojans. Mark is a tough play to, place to shoot a free throw right now. First one is good for Cooper. And you see the action. That's kind of hard right there. Nick McCosh is outside of the circle. Cooper does hit both free throws. Some, some both, man. Jaguar is with it, 35 seconds, down by two. Jaguars missed the, the layup. And we got some uh, blood on this side of the floor. Adam Taylor fouled in transition. Somebody's got to get to Ty Walters Whitaker. He's got a cut on his eye. Oh. Take a look at it in transition. And Ty Walters Whitaker is, is having a conversation with the referee saying, you guys got to, you, you have to see what's going on out here. He's got hit in the face. There's so many people here saying it should have been five. And a rowdy place to be right here in the arc tonight. And I got to say, I like the energy. Yeah. I'd like it a little bit more if the Jaguars can come away with a win. And the referee and Coach Bates are in a, a very spirited debate right now. This is uh, extremely tough right now. Because you, uh, as much as you love to see like the physicality in basketball and, and how much uh, that can make a difference and make for a, a highly competitive game, yeah. you definitely want to make sure we're protecting our players. And uh, it should've, it, there probably should have been a, a foul call somewhere if uh, somebody's bleeding to that extent over their, their eye. Yeah. And now it, it, it kind of sucks that it uh, affecting, it's affecting the game the way that it is because Ty Walters Whitaker is having yeah. one heck of a night. Yeah. Double double for him, and now he has to come out the game with the game on the line. Yeah. It has to hurt to see that. You've been in the game the whole time, and you've been, been scoring. 
Taylor misses the first two free throws. He hits the second. There's a timeout courtesy of the Jaguars. We've got 12.3 seconds left in this game, and we've got a full timeout on the floor. Jaguars are down by just a point. And, and, and there is so much energy in the arc right now. Yeah, a lot, man. We're not even going to step away from the action. Let's go ahead and take a look at, uh, you see Coach Bates in the foreground there yelling for his player in, uh, in, in, on the bench back there. With, he's got blood on his jersey and blood in his eyes. And it's uh, it's tough to, 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 uh, to hear that we don't get the foul call there. Yeah. You know, it's tough for Ty, yeah, but it's also tough for the 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 um the audience members, the people here, the coaches. Yeah. And the ref has a tough job, man. In Referees sense, definitely got a tough job. And yeah. uh, there's a lot of Jaguar fans here in the house that uh, are feeling the way that I, I'm probably feeling right now. Yeah. We're on the same page. But um, all in all, it's been a great game so far. We'd love to see it come away with a Jaguar victory. 12.3 seconds left on the clock, and Trojans got possession, so it'll be interesting to see what Coach Bates has uh, designed for his team. Preston Yakovis taking the ball out with the Trojans. Jalen Levy fouls. That's two fouls for him, six for the Jaguars. Got to foul again to get some free throws. And we get the foul. Taylor checks back in for the Jaguars. Deshaun Densler makes space for him. There's a, a, a one and one situation here. Jaguars down by a point. 11.1 left on the clock. Jaguars have no timeouts. First free throw is good for Jack Cahoon, earning himself a second chance at the line. I don't like how I'm feeling, man. I don't like it either. Guess it comes with the territory. Second free throw is good. Jaguars down by three. Ty Walters Whitaker gets back into the game. Kyle Jackson, Ty Walters Whitaker, Adam Taylor, Will Bates, and Nick McCosh is the five for the Jaguars. 11.1 left on the clock. Ty brings it up. He's surveying. He's looking for something. Ty takes the three. Ty doesn't get it to go. And that is the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. That is the ball game. Trinity International finishes this game 89 to 86 with a win over the Jaguars. Very tough ball game. Very tough. Tough one to watch and a uh, tough one to let go of. Wow. My, your, your chest, your my chest. My heart is pumping right now, but I wish. Uh, I wish the game wouldn't have played out the way it did. Ty, talk to me about what you saw here. Uh, I seen a lot of heart, man, a lot of spirit, man. Both teams really wanted it. Both teams fought hard. Both teams clawed their way. As you can see, there was a, a couple different lead changes back to back to back to back. When you see that, you can just admire it because that means both teams really wanted. Both teams came to compete, and that's what I really like to see here tonight. Yeah, tough one. A very tough loss, man. It's uh, it's a tough one to watch. Tough one to be a part of. 
you uh you never like really want to blame a game on uh the officials or officiating because you don't play for the referees you play for the win exactly uh but yeah th this is a, a a truly tough one down the stretch you can't help but wonder uh what could have went what what could have happened if uh if a few calls would have went a different direction absolutely you know um Ty, tell me, uh, what do you, what do you, uh, based off tonight's game, what are you seeing that the Jaguars could, could do to be uh, ready for the next one? Uh, I think the Jaguars have done a really good job um, of finishing, for sure. Uh, I think maybe defensively, um, being more defensively consistent, I think is something that I would like to see the Jaguars do. Um, they let up too many easy points in the, in the paint. And that's just not good for uh, – that's just not good. So um, I think that would be – uh, beneficial for the Jaguars to, to work on, but great job, Jaguars. Yeah, definitely a great job for the Jaguars. Uh, even though we did not get the win tonight, um, as well as the Jaguars played, I do think it's very important that we, we highlight a, a few players uh, who uh, entered, who finished the night in double digits. Uh, Nick Mikosh, is, uh, he's got 13 points. Uh, Will Bates is, uh, finished with 19 points. Uh, Adam Taylor finished with uh, 16. LaShawn Dantzler, uh or uh, Kyle Jackson, I should say, he finished with uh, with 10 points, five rebounds, four assists, two steals, and uh, Ty Walters Whitaker had 21 points and 11 assists. Wow! Super tough loss for the Jaguars, but uh, they hopefully will be able to bounce back. So uh, that's all we got here for tonight's game. So for everybody uh, here in the arc and uh, everybody in control room A, shout out to my director, Ty Ann Simmons, Samara <laughs> Tompkins. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.